Hey guys, I'm Colin. And I'm Melanie. Welcome to Mike Check, KU's premier musical talent showcase. We've got a great show planned for you today because we have the Groove Merchants with us in the studio. So without further ado, performing their first song, Ain't Going Nowhere, here are the Groove Merchants.
guys, welcome to Mike Tech's Moment in History. I'm Mel and this month is April and there are so many historical moments that happened around this time in the past. The great Miss Diana Ross released her LP and soundtrack for The Lady Sings the Blues in April of 1973 and her LP hit number one on the charts. Then in 1974, The Who sold out 80,000 seats in Madison Square Garden. This was a record at that time. In more serious news, in 1992, the insane news broke that someone had stolen Madonna's famous pointy bustier bra from the Fredericks of Hollywood and there was some, some thousands of dollars reward for its return. Also, in 1981, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band played their first concert outside of North America, opening their new tour in the Congress Centre in the Hamburg. This one may not be history yet, but it's definitely an important piece of the past. In 2008, Bob Dylan was awarded the Honorary Pulitzer Prize for profound impact on popular music in American culture, marked by lyrical compositions and extraordinary poetic power. There are some April happy birthday shout outs, so shout out to Billie Holiday, Master P, Bill Kreutzmann from The Grateful Dead, and Le Leona Lewis. Happy birthday. That was Mike Check's Moment in History. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Mic Check. We're sitting here with the Groove Merchants. Um, they just did an amazing performance, so I thank you guys for being here. You are welcome. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. You know, people are just walking around here in the studio. They have, like, chills from listening to you guys <laughs> play. It's really crazy. Yeah, you guys are so um, good. Thank you. Thanks. thanks. Really appreciate that. Thank and uh, how, how, did, how did the four of you guys, like, actually meet up and say, hey, you know, let, let's create some musical fusion together. Let's, <laughs> let's play the kind of stuff that we want to play and uh, do it well. How'd you guys meet? Well, we initially had a band, me, John, and Ty, where it was just, it was just us three, like a year ago. And then we had this show coming up, like, last semester, and then we, had, we also formed a band with this guy, me and John. I had been jamming with this guy a couple of years. And then we both booked the same gig. It was weird, like, both <laughs> bands. I was making the bill for the show, and I needed a... I needed another band because we had planned on performing as a trio, and I had met Luke, and I was like, "Hey, can your band play?" And he was like, "Yeah, dude, like sign us up." So I was like, "Okay, just send us your information." And here, like his band was like John and Anthony, so I was like, "Well, that's not gonna work." <laughs> so we were just like, "Why don't we just be in a band together?" And then uh, we did, and look here we are. <laughs> okay, so as a unit, how long have you been together for? Uh, about last semester, we started playing together a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, wow. so last semester. No, for just. Uh, one semester, you're pretty <laughs> well-oiled, tight machine, <laughs> I'd say. Oh, it's, it's really crazy. And when, when I listen to you guys, I hear a lot of um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, um, Jimi Hendrix experience. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. What, what musicians or bands, like really, when you first heard them, like you thought, okay, this is something that I want to do. This is the type of music I want to play. Can you give me any examples? Um, well, like definitely, like yeah. you, your guitar style totally comes from that kind of. Yeah, the first thing that really. Uh, <laughs> kind of moved me was just the sound of Hendrix. It was like nothing I'd ever heard before and it was almost right. like a, you know, an experience to hear him and I just fell in love with it. <laughs> no, 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 it yeah, was the experience. Part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just that? fell in love with it and just ever since been chasing that kind of feeling and it's led me to a lot of things from, you know, John Coltrane to Derek Trucks to Jimi Hendrix to Papa Tunde Lee. Like, <laughs> all these different guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Colin said, you guys sound really like Really, like you've been performing for a long time. You said you've only been together for a year. So, do you guys get to perform a lot since you guys been together? Do we've, you only a played, lot? we've only played. We've only played like two shows. Oh my shows. goodness! Wow. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, we rehearse like we rehearse every week though. Yeah. Oh okay. We rehearse. We try to get like a rehearsal in every week, and now um, we're trying to focus more like on on writing our own stuff because we have like a lot of um, a lot of covers in the books. So now we're trying to expand like our own original stuff. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to talk to us about your writing process? Because you have some really nice songs. Like, oh, thank you. How do how do y'all come up with this um, beautiful music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It really kind of it really kind of varies. I mean, sometimes like the majority of the times, what will happen is like we'll just be sitting in rehearsal, and Luke will like <laughs> come in with a riff or like a, something that he's working on, and we'll kind of just go off that, and then I'll like try and put put lyrics down to it. Like the last song we played, that's pretty much how that one 
happened. We were mm-hmm. like, we should play this song. And we had a show coming up, like, in a, like several days after, like after that rehearsal. So we were like, we should play this song. Okay, let me write lyrics to it real fast. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, I mean, yeah. and then other times, like, um, like I'll write stuff myself, like on the guitar, and like put lyrics to it, and then I'll kind of bring it to the band, and like you know, see where they want to go with it. You guys definitely strike me as the type of band who. Uh, uh, writes their songs through jamming, you know, someone will come in with like a, a riff or a groove or something and you'll just, you know, go from there. Is that pretty accurate that, as to how you guys write? You know, yeah, funny, yeah. just, pretty much, just yeah. get in there and start jamming? We'll like yeah. play a song and we'll be like, alright, now we'll just try to play it like that every other time. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. The funniest part though is when we try to do that, like we'll be in rehearsal and like rehearsing a song to like record or something. And we'll be like, well, let's write the form out so we know like what we're gonna do and we should do it this way and right. put this here. And we then can we never play it. Do it. We, <laughs> we never do never it the way we're gonna do write it. it out. But if we don't write it out, we just play it. It sounds like exactly the way we want it to sound. Right. Yeah. Since you said things don't come out as planned during performing, have you guys had any like embarrassing or moments or any crazy <laughs> stories from performing? The spinal pap esque <laughs> moments, if you will. <laughs> um, I don't know. We've only had like two gigs so far. Yeah. So. <laughs> the best Nothing one would crazy, probably be. But... Best one would probably be at our at our last show we played. Um, it was at the Egg House Art Gallery, and we were playing um, our song "Ain't Going Nowhere," the first song we played today. And um, I kind of took the liberty of like initiating a mosh esque kind of attitude in the in the crowd, and I didn't think they'd take it as far as they did, and they totally did. And they actually knocked over John's like they actually fell into John's yeah, amp, fell into my amp and like almost knocked over the microphone, but we saved it. And it was crisis averted. Whole amp cut out, it was awesome. Okay. <laughs> pretty sweet. That's really cool. Well, guys, it looks like we are going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to have lots more with the Groove Merchants on the way, so stay tuned. Hey, guys, I'm Haley Bianco, and it's now time for Mike Check's Music News. Well, it's always an eventful week in the world of music, but this week let's check out which hot music artists are walking down the aisle. The well-publicized Rocky relationship seems to have beaten out all the problems, literally. Rihanna and Chris Brown are allegedly planning to get married in Barbados this summer. Reports tell us that Chris Brown has already asked Rihanna's father for her hand in marriage. This wedding will be very controversial, and here at Mic Check, we will keep an eye out for breaking news on the subject. In other music news, an artist is trying to get away from the so soulfulness and go a little more edgy on her upcoming album. After her Grammy Award winning album, 21, Adele wants to keep her fans desperate to hear what she will come out with next, meaning her collaboration with British producers James Ford and Kid Harpoon are sure to be some of the next greatest hits. As always, it's never a dull moment when it comes to music news. Be sure to tune back next week to Mike Check for more music news updates. Until next time, I'm Haley Bianco, and stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Performing their next song, Princess Please, once again, here are the Groove Merchants. Shall be saved, but I want you to save me every single day. Cause I'm so tired of sleeping my life away, and I need your love and in every way. I'm here to stay. Now I say it's time for me, for me to pay, starting today. Try. She'll never 
welcome back to Mike Check. We are here once again with the Groove Merchants, having a blast, hanging out with these guys, talking to them all about their music. And um, do you guys, uh, are you in the process of recording anything right now? Do you have material already recorded? Or what's going on with that? We have a lot of material that we've been working on, and we're going to eventually strive to put together a record or something. But as of now, we just have a demo yeah. okay. that we use to uh, submit to the Battle of the Bands for Coast Down, actually, and to give to right. uh, other prospective gigs and stuff. So. <clears throat> yeah, we're in the process of finding shows. You know, we're yeah. always looking yeah. at them. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's cool. What are your hopes for the future as a band? Do you see yourself somewhere in a couple of years or whatever like that? Um, I think it'd be cool to just play a bunch of shows. Like, yeah. yeah. Just a few over the summer and like when the semester really kicks in, just start getting in the gear. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be really cool to do. I think th with the style of music we play, we're perfect for like a lot of outdoor festivals and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So those would be like that'd be a cool thing to you do. You guys are so good. I see y'all have a bright future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. We we're hoping that we do. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> you know we have um you can check us out on Facebook. Facebook dot com slash uh Groove Merchants Music, I think. Groove Merchants Band or Groove Merchants one of those. You just okay. Groove Merchants. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah I um, checked out your guys' Facebook. I saw like your videos and stuff. Yeah, we you guys are really good. Do you have Twitter or anything else like that? Uh, we're not not we yet. don't. That's a good idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good idea. Yeah. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure just hanging out and talking with you, listening to you play. And uh, we are going to take another short little break here. But when we come back, we are going to hear from more of the Groove Merchants. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Collins Concert Updates. Let's take a look at which shows are going to be playing in your area this coming weekend. On Friday, April 12th, we have the Beatles Tribute 1964 playing at the Keswick Theater in Glenside. We also have the legendary Bob Dylan playing a show with Dawes at the Bob Carpenter Center in Newark. On Sunday, April 14th, we have the Dirty Heads doing a show at the Theater of Living Arts in Philadelphia. And the legendary Spyro Gyra is going to be playing at the Sellersville Theater in Sellersville. Also, the Burks Jazz Fest is going on all weekend long in Reading, PA. So go to www.berksjazzfest.com for more information about that. Well, guys, that about does it for this week's edition of Collins Concert Updates. I'll see you on the road. Well, guys, that about does it for this week's edition of Mic Check. But we want to give a very special thanks to our boys, the Groove Merchants, for hanging out with us on the show today and playing us out with their last song, Cosmic kind of love. Here are the Groove Merchants.
Shake it off. 